probably hit the start record. Hi to the YouTubes and things and everybody else. Um, I doubt we're going to have anything like unlocked in the gallery yet. Yeah, no, it's asking us to load from a memory card. We definitely don't have anything there. It's a new game. Let's just hop right into it, man. I cannot remember like anything about this game. Man gains nothing without sacrifice. To gain something, an equivalent price must be paid. This is Alchemy's Law of Equivalent Exchange. Dope. Edward Elric? Is his brother gonna pop up too? Is he gonna be like... Okay. Young prodigy who became a state alchemist at the age of 12. He is now 15 years old. His alias, full metal, derives from the fact that his right arm and left leg are metal <clears throat> metallic artificial limbs known as automail. Dying a little bit. Alphonse Elric. Yeah, I was wondering if it was going to show, like, actual kid form of him or, like, the big metal suit. Edward's younger brother, inside of the giant suit of armor, is a 14-year-old boy with a gentle heart. Only his soul occupies the suit of armor. He no longer has a physical body. Sad days, dude. Sad days. In their youth, the Elric brothers attempted to revive their deceased mother through alchemy. Bad idea. In case it wasn't obvious. As the price for attempting the forbidden act of human transmutation, Ed lost his left leg, Al lost his entire body. Ed sacrificed his right arm and succeeded in transmuting Al's soul, binding it into a nearby suit of armor. Real convenient, they just happen to have like a suit of armor chilling in there, you know. Their shed alpac. <laughs> Was it the shed or was it part of the house? I can't remember. In order to regain their bodies and return all to its previous state, the Elric brothers started on a journey to find the legendary Philosopher's Stone. I also wonder which canon this is following. If it's like first anime canon or manga slash second anime canon. Bru, hello to you as well, man. Yeah, full metal. I'm excited for it. I think this is the one I played as a kid. And uh, I have high hopes. I don't remember much of it from when I played it as a kid, but it looks like the one I played as a kid, though. But it's really hard to say for sure. Also, Nate, how you doing tonight, my guy? And Rue as well, of course. How you guys doing, man? Happy to see y'all here. That's, I was literally just saying that. I wonder which canon it follows. Whether it's the original canon or if it's the uh, manga slash Brotherhood canon. I mean, it would have come out before Brotherhood, but it might have come out after they wrapped up the manga, so it could be following manga canon. I'm not sure. Uh, aren't we at Central yet? Watching all those boring trees go by makes me want to strangle something. <laughs> You've been bored ever since we've reached Resumble, Ed. Uh, voice acting would have been nice, though. It seems like they cheaped out a bit on the, <laughs> the VA department. Me, I think it's nice to take a break from going after the Philosopher's Stone, don't you? A break? I'm gonna break something if this boring train ride doesn't end soon. Here we go again. Ah, what a disgrace. Have you no patience, Edward Elric? Once we reach the junction at Heisgart, <laughs> Central is a stone's throw away. Huh? Heisgart? So we're near that old place. Brings back memories, huh, Ed? Yeah, now that you mention it, I love whenever it's uh, Al or Ed. Hi, Lele. <laughs> Do you like your strawberry wine, Lele or did you even try it yet, Lele? It's not bad, in my opinion. Um, but I like how whenever it's Al or Ed talking, their face is like the little thing at the end. Like, yeah, now that you mention it. Oh, no, so you two have been to Heisgar before, eh? Yes, our master had brought us there just once a few years ago. I think we'd gone to see this guy named Wilhelm. He was quite an alchemist, just like our master. I'm remembering it now. The professor had a daughter named Celine, and she was an alchemist too. She was as old as us, but her skills were like a grown-up's. Oh, is that so? A genius girl alchemist, eh? A genius? Yeah, but cold-hearted. I mean, we were so nice to her the whole time we were there. But when the time came for us to go back to Dublith, she didn't even come out to send us off. Oh, yeah. Huh. Well, she probably wasn't feeling well enough to... Maybe it just hurt too much to say goodbye to you strapping young lads. I wonder if she's still studying. I bet she's a great alchemist by now. And the fridge cooling. The master's crazy a little bit. An explosion? We 
it's sweeter than like regular, like, you know, red or white wine, but it's not like super sweet. It's kind of in the middle, I'd say. I'm not a big wine fan, so. Sounds like a bunch of names cut and pasted together. I certainly haven't heard of it. The potatoes would be nice. I'll bet it's another new radical group. Jeez, what is this world coming to? Haven't had that, to be honest with you. Except I didn't really care for wine, so I never really started buying it until recently I started trying this Aren't brand barefoot, because, yeah. Uh, why do I have to? Hey, yeah, I mean, you can take those guys all by yourself, right, Major? You don't like the rosé? I like the rosé. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so maybe not for you then. <laughs> the rosé was much sweeter than like regular wines. I, I quite like the rosé. I guess they've changed their name since the announcement. I just can't take this anymore. Hey, wait, weren't we just in a situation like this? Yeah, we were. Someone must have put a curse on us. Hey, you and the armor and shorty. Who gave you permission to chat? Just shut up and fork over the valuable. This is perfect. Okay, you, take the good from the muscle man and the armor, then get your butt over here, shorty. Who are you calling shorty? <laughs> you, of course. Who the heck else is there, you shorty? He doesn't like that much. <laughs> Edward Elric, an alchemist? I was looking to see if there was another Full Metal Alchemist game for the PS2. Um, there might be, but that's besides the point. I'm pretty sure this is the first one, so I don't think it was a callback to like an earlier game or anything. I'm telling you, it's a curse. Or maybe they want your autograph. What? Who? Hey, what's going on in here? Maybe he's a fan of yours. Very funny. All right, Major. You go check out the cars in the back and find out what that explosion was. Don't worry about it. I'm already on it. Looks like we've got alchemists among us. So everybody watch your backs, okay? <laughs> mm, I know it too well. Well then. Mm. This wasn't in the show, right? Like this specifically? I don't remember it. So that means they animated it like specifically for the game. Action packed, I'm an unbelievable gameplay. High quality cinematic animation. Hmm. I've watched both. I don't remember it either, but my memory's very bad, so. Okay, Al, let's do this like last time. You go from below while I take the rooftop. Yeah, gotcha. Be careful, all right? I'm pretty sure this is the one I played when I was younger. I feel like there's going to be dudes with cannons soon. <laughs> but I don't remember, like, any other details than that. I just remember, like, dudes with cannons. And I'm pretty sure we fight a boss once the train stops or something. But I guess we'll see. Movement and camera control with left analog stick. Right analog stick moves the camera. Okay. Switch mat display. Okay, so we can zoom in, zoom out, have none. In, out, none. And I'm assuming X is jump, square is attack. We can combo. Triangle's nothing. Oh. Okay, so like a quick tap gives us a shield. Holding circle will give us like a, a spike to attack with. Very cool. That centers camera. All right. Oh, R2's dodge roll. That's that's a choice. Well, we were told to go up top, so at least we'll go up top. That was a great ladder climbing animation. One hand wasn't even on the ladder. I'd rather it work like that than be super frustrating and get on the ladder, though. All right, train hoppers, time to board. Face first. Uh, square to attack. Press square at the end of a combo to do more attack stuff. Okay. Can we fall off the train? I hope not. Two, three. Wait. Didn't it say press square at the end of the combo to do some sort of thing? One, two, three. 
And then... Okay, I obviously don't know how the Accu Strike or whatever it was called works. Jeez, one after another. What a pain. Well then, I'll just have to use the Alchemy to finish them off. Rock Blocker, Stone Spike, Shield. You can also jump or climb. Okay. Oh, damn. That really doesn't, like, go very far, does it? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think alchemy is really the answer. Kind of sucks since, you know, this is an alchemy game. Or Full Metal Alchemist game, rather. But uh, I can only imagine that the alchemy stuff will get better. It is an RPG game, so I just assume that's, like, the sort of stuff we just have to learn. And is it any better if we let it charge up all the way? Or should we just do it, like, there? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it seems basically the same. I see the EXP popping up, and oh, there's a chest, so it's definitely like an RPG game. Great car, huh? Hmm, what do we have here? That a box transmuting weapons. When you hold down circle to power up the alchemy gauge. You'll see circles around objects that you can transmute. Let go of circle while inside the circle to use alchemy. Ooh, okay. Equipping and using weapons. When standing near weapon, triangle to equip, triangle to drop. That makes a lot of sense. Combo stone spike, circle, and strikes with a transmuted weapon. Okay. Example of lance combos. Square, circle, square, square. In your time, you can follow Stone Spike with strikes, but you may risk missing your target. Square, square, circle, X, square. Oh, holy shit. Okay. This is... <laughs> I'm not good with combos. This is why I don't play fighting games. Um... Oh, okay. You gotta, like, do it fast. There's no, there's no like, waiting. It's just... took a hit that should be fine we open chest like triangle to oh x Do we hit it square aha square does things that's cool i'm hoping alchemy ends up being like a pretty big part of the game because let's be honest man who didn't watch full metal alchemist growing up and just wish that they could learn alchemy you know especially like as good as someone like Ed Edward and just clap their fucking hands together and do anything, <laughs> basically. Like, just turn anything into anything, fix anything. Like, it's cool as shit. Ah, there they are. Let's see what I can whip up here. Uh, different levels of alchemy gauge will give you choice of transmutable weapons. Left directional button reduce level, down is reset, okay. Oh, okay. The, I think that's the cannon that I remember there. But this looks like a Gatling gun or something, so... Large transmuted weapons. Large weapons may be manned by either Ed or Al. Climb, fire, aim. Get fucked. Ah, <laughs> oh, ammo's limited? Okay. Can we, like, detransmute it? No. Once it's transmuted, it's stuck at whatever it was, which... From a gameplay perspective, makes a lot of sense. Okay, so is this one, like, smaller then? No, it's definitely not smaller. This is the, the one that I remember, though. The cannon that I remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain this was the game I played. Oh, shit. Well, I wish I wouldn't have used all that ammo now. Bonus plus two. Bonus points. When you level up, you can allocate the bonus points you gain to add and out attributes from the pause menu. Select bonus points and either add or out. So that's like how we level up, basically. Vitality? It'd be nice if it, like, described what these different things did. I'm guessing vitality is, like, health and or... 
yeah, probably just health. Attack is obviously to attack. Defense, how much damage we take. Alchemy is our alchemical skill. Maybe the higher it is, the more transmutation stuff we can do. Or the faster it charges to higher levels or something. I mean, attack seems like just a safe place to put it right now. Let's just put it there. And Alphonse wouldn't have any, right? Oh, interesting. He doesn't even have alchemy as a as a thing? Like, he can do alchemy. That's weird. Okay. But he has a lot more vitality, a little bit more defense, a little bit more attack. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, sorry, I'm tired, as always. Interesting, okay. Um, accessories? I mean, don't assume we would have any yet. No. And then items, which... Elixir. Towards 100 HP, not bad. That's a good animation right there, man. Ow! Any of them left back there? Thanks to you, I think they're all KO'd. Yep, yep, just leave it to me. Let's go get the rest of them. Honestly, though, I don't hate their 3D models. I think they look pretty decent. I still want to see, like, an anime game where the game itself looks like anime. You know, South Park style, but... Anime? <laughs> But I think they did a pretty decent job of translating it into a 3D world. I'm glad you always go diving in by yourself, but cooperation is important in battle. Uh, when, AI, uh, when AI, when Al is far away, call for Al. Al is close by, tackle, at any time, hold to guard. Okay. Guard me. I go tackle. Oh, <laughs> wait, that's like an actual, like, ability he uses or something? Interesting. Oh, that must be why he doesn't have any alchemical ability, because we don't actually, like, play as him. Correct. wonder if there's a, uh, like, the ability to lock on... Cause that would be really handy. Oh wow, he really- oh shit, why'd you- Bro, why'd you stop guarding like that? That was kinda rude, Al. There must be like a timer or something how long he guards for. There's this really unfortunate timing because as soon as that dude started shooting at us that he would just piece the hell out. Let us get fucking shot. <laughs> like Rude, my guy. Crash can? Hey Al. Yed? Do you think I could transmute this into a weapon for you to use? Okay, so we can make weapons for him to use too. Pressing circle to display the circles will also show icons for the available weapon types. Weapon for Ed, weapon for Al, weapons for both. Um. What? Okay, so this is just a weapon for us. He's blue, right? Or. Oh, we're red. He's blue. Okay. Near weapon for Al or both are one to use. Al's weapons can only be used a limited number of times. Okay. After they are used up, they vanish. I'm surprised ours aren't like that, honestly. I'm just getting this chest. He can handle this by himself. Can I hit people through walls with this thing? Oh shit, is he still alive? Yeah, I can't like lock on. That's lame. Ooh, we dropped something. Thank you. 
herb. Is that just like a worse healing potion? I mean, I don't see it being better than an elixir, you know, just a random herb. Certainly be wrong, though. I have no idea which direction we're going, by the way, so... I'm just gonna go this way and hope for the best. I notice it says six, and presumably we're trying to get to the front. Is it the front or the back? Well, we've definitely never been in here before, so... Jag, what's up my guy? Welcome, welcome. How you doing tonight, my man? Pick up on the roof this time? Come on, someone who's as big as you would fall right through the roof. <laughs> You're right. I think that's uh, the game's way of telling us to get up on the fucking roof. But hold on, there was a thingy back here. Can I make a cooler weapon than this pike? Pikey boy? No, it looks the same. And this is just, yeah, same things we've done had the choice to do. I wish there was a couple more options for like camera control because I'm a little lost on the left and right being backwards for, for me personally. Obviously a very uh, specific to individual like sort of thing. Yeah, still more of them. Were we the only non-hijackers on the board? On the board. <laughs> I'm tired. Left analog stick plus R2 to dodge. Uh, okay. Dead? He's dead. What up, my guy? With the hydrate? Maybe that'll wake you up? I doubt it. Might. Oh shit, I should probably actually attack the guy. My drink right now is a, a bit of wine, so if anything, it's probably just gonna make me knock the hell out quicker. But, there you go. I mean, I do have like a normal drink over here too. <laughs> I can just switch to that, I guess. I guess. The voice actors for like the cutscenes aren't bad. They might even be the real voice actors. But in game, nothing. Ah, oh, not again. Looks like I've got to beat my way through. You are knocked into the air. You can break fall by pressing X just before you hit the ground. Okay. It gets you up faster. Good to know. Ooh, the elixir. I'm guessing that just is double the healing. Really makes me again wonder what the hell are the herbs for? Hold on. Oh wait, I didn't want to drop that. Not accessories, items. Equip herb. Allows user to equip transmuted items or weapons? What? We can't, but we can. Uh, I'm so confused. But we can already equip transmuted items. Is it like you can permanently equip it sort of thing? I'm confused. I don't know. Whatever. Just won't worry about that for now. What is that? That must be like a save thing, maybe? Uh, yeah, that's got to be save point. Step into the save point press either circle or square in order to save and recover your health. <sighs> Fuck. That was unused. We will save. Thank you, game. Ooh. I like the art. Or, like, the, the save file. Edward! <laughs> Oh, hey, Al. <laughs> Are all the bad guys history yet? Just the ones in the cars we cleared out, I guess. Major's taking care of the cars in the back, so all we have left are the few cars up front. If the hijackers have a leader, then he's got to be up front. Let's be careful, Al. About their leader, did you notice how some of them were wearing, mir were wearing military gear? Yeah, that bothered me. But then again, criminals in the military are hardly a rarity. Anyway, we'll just have to beat up the leader and put him through the ringer. Let's go, Al. Let's do it, my guy. 
should be easy peasy. Um, mommy squeezy. I don't know. How's the saying go? Yeah. I watched the, fully watched the OG Full Metal Alchemist anime, including the uh, movie that finished it all off. And I've watched Brotherhood. I haven't read the entire manga yet, but... No, hold on. I don't think I have the whole collection, actually. I was thinking I had the whole collection, but I think I just have the first two volumes. But it's, like, not the normal volumes. It's, like, volume one, two, and three all mashed into one big volume sort of thing. I think I have the first two. I just see the first one, though, so I could be wrong. Maybe I just have the first, like, big book volume. You know how it ends though and you can't bring yourself to watch it because you like brotherhood too much yeah <clears throat> the original one happened because they weren't finished with the manga but they wanted to keep making the show because of how popular it was so they just made up their own canon for it brotherhood actually follows the the manga so brotherhood is the canon the real real canon um but yeah the original one i liked uh, spoiler alert, it's Parallel Universe <laughs> in the, the first one. Um, right, they live in, like, magic land, but there's also, uh, like, real-world science land. And they get, like, split. That's where their dad is, is in, like, real-world land. Um, and then they end up, well, Edward ends up traveling over there talking to his dad and shit. I don't remember all the specifics of it, but yeah. Honestly, I find, like, the actual canon Brotherhood to be a little more off the rails, my guy. Like, they literally fight fucking God. <laughs> like, what do you mean? You guys are saying that, that sounds whack? Edward fights fucking God in Brotherhood. <laughs> what are you going on about? Brotherhood is whack. <laughs> it's fight. I love both. Don't get me wrong. I do think... <laughs> I do actually think, yeah... I do actually think I prefer Brotherhood, but um, but both of them are good. Like, they're both a little crazy, man. Like, and then they fight Hitler and OG. Fighting Hitler is more weird than fighting fucking God? Like, <laughs> bro, two little kids killing God is more weird than fucking fighting Hitler. I just, whatever. Y'all are crazy, man. <laughs> I do like both, though. They're both good. Uh, what the? Who, who the hell are you guys? Oh, that's menacing. Are you sure you're supposed to be a bad guy? Never mind that, Ed. His uniform. Yeah, just just like we thought. Our guy here is a military man, an MP at that. Military policemen are supposed to be elite, so why is this guy... Hey, 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 stop talking about me like I'm not here. Brat, don't think you can get out of here alive. Dealing with these goons is becoming a real hassle. Has hassle? Hassle off. Expect little kids fighting God in anime. You do not expect Hitler to make an appearance, though. It is what it is, you know. You should watch it, though. It's good. I mean, it's the same thing until, like, halfway through in both of them, just with minor changes. Um, it's just the last, like, half that's really any different. It's time to make things hassle-free. We aren't dealing with amateurs anymore, so watch out, Al. And don't forget to hold back, Ed. Hold on, can I... I can only make a normal weapon. I don't want a normal weapon. I want a big weapon. Get out of my way. I'm trying to transmute. Use this, Al. Bro, why is he not using... Al, use that. Oh, my God. Y'all fucking suck. Use this, dude. Jesus Christ. Just because you take one hit doesn't mean you stop using the thing I tell you to equip. Oh, shit, there was one over here. <laughs> I guess maybe we should have just did this one. Bro, what did I just... Okay, I'm already pissed off about the AI in this game, though. This AI is stupid as shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't, I didn't realize that thing did AOE damage. Fuck me, man. Use the Gatling gun. Minor dude, isn't their teacher's kid envy? Like, the one that died and he calls Lust, who is Ed now's mom, mom? <laughs> How's mom? Well, he got blown. 
Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, bonus points plus one, bonus item, lead ring, whatever. Uh, their teacher's kid envy. I think it just looks like envy, right? Like, it's not the actual kid. Um, that was lost to his head now, his mom. Mom. I don't remember the details. I don't think it is. I don't know, man. Optijack has a better memory than me. You answer. <laughs> If the manga ended in 2010, why did they decide to do the anime so early? I think just because it was popular. I don't know, honestly. But I'm fine with it. That just means we got two versions of it. Damn you, how could I lose to a kid? Has the world gone utterly mad? Yeah, it has. Now you better start explaining why a military policeman like you is hijacking this train. You aren't here just to rob everyone, are you? Uh, who are you guys? Hey, we're the ones asking the questions here, bub. She just had seven years of filler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. No, no, don't hurt me. I'll tell you everything. I was just, I was just running away. Running away? From who? From other military policemen. I was framed for a crime, so I had no choice but to flee. If it was a false charge, why didn't you just protest? You shouldn't have had to run. If the world were that simple, I wouldn't be in so much trouble. It's conspiracy. We wouldn't all be on the run if there wasn't a warrant out for all of us. Uh, all of us? That's right. Except for the few that we picked up on the way. We're all ex-military alchemists. You're trying to tell me that you're all wanted for a crime that you collectively didn't commit? Yeah, well, some of them may really be criminals, but not me. I'm innocent, I swear. This is coming from the guy that hijacked our train. Yeah, congrats. You're a bona fide criminal now. Good job. I didn't mean to cause such a scene. I wanted to be more covert. All we wanted to do was get a, get to Heisgard. I'm not lying. The Heisgard? What for? The only one who was on our side was Colonel Gons Bres Breslau? Breslau. And he was the one who told us to take shelter at Heisgard because the town was establishing an autonomy of alchemists. The only way for one of men like us to get to Heisgard was by borrowing a train. <clears throat> I was going to wait it out in Heisgard until the dust settled and then prove my innocence. Hmm, alright, I'm beginning to see now. But an autonomy, a self-government by alchemists? I've never heard of such a thing. Jeez, that'd be totally irresponsible, like putting a rabid dingo in charge of a chicken farm. Who leader supposedly a great sick alchemist? One of the famed ten alchemists, Professor Wilhelm Eiselstein. What? Professor Eiselstein? I heard he's calling on alchemists from all over the country. That's all I know. Ed, what does this mean? I don't have a clue. I wonder if it's the same Professor Eiselstein that we know. Calling on alchemists? Why would he do that? And this is where he sneaks away. I'm in a minority where I actually like some filler as long as it's not like seasons long. Like an episode or two that expands personality or something I'm all for. Yeah, no. Like a little bit here and there I don't think is a bad thing. But there are shows that do like entire seasons or half of whole seasons that are nothing but filler and like fuck all that man that's too much i'm glad the kiddies like their food what hey get your butt back here what do we gotta like chase the guy back down again or do we just keep going forward the charlotte got more food wait why'd she get more food it says three on both ends. Well, this one's closed, so we go this way. No, no, Eddie went the other way. Come on, we gotta shake a leg. Fuck. <clears throat> oh, I thought you like fed them already. I'm trying to think of the anime that has whole ass charts of seasons to skip because they're essentially filler. I feel like it's One Piece. <laughs> um, Naruto. Uh, my bad, man. I don't remember directions and things. Uh, yeah, probably. I think it was a safe station. Was it glowing green with, like, the alchemist symbol on it? If so, then yes. Yes, it was. Okay, pal. Who are you? Wait, that uniform and badge. A military policeman? A senior colonel? Hey, mister, you wouldn't happen to be named Gens, would you? Uh, what if I am, kiddo? Ed, you don't think. Is this him? Yeah, looks like this Mohawk psycho is the head honcho. 
what's your reason for deceiving your subordinates and leading them to Highsgard? Real smart, punk, aren't you? But you ain't got to know nothing else, because you're going to die right here. <laughs> yes, I am, Gens Breslau, the armor-piercing alchemist and the strongest in the military. Eep, <laughs> but I've never heard of you. And just who says you're the strongest in the military anyway? Mom doesn't count, you know. Taking care of my incompetent subordinate, now you guys are my only problems left. Nothing personal, mind you. You got in our way, and you got no one to blame but yourselves. Here, come to this. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to transmute it. Wait, you guys can't be. You're not Full Metal Alchemist Edward Elric, are you? Gosh, Ed, you're a celebrity. What's it to you? Do you want more, me to sign your forehead or something? Whoa, how live long to meet you, Full Metal Alchemist. Well, then, it's either you or me. Your right arm or my left arm. Let's settle here now who should really be called Full Metal. Come and get some shorty. Uh-oh. I'm not. <laughs> Uh, who are you calling microscopic? My throat is already dry. There's no way I'm going to be yelling all that shit. Tackle, Ned. Oh, goodness. Bro, is there, like, nothing I can transmute to make this? Oh, okay. I say, there's got to be something I can do to make this go a little quicker. Oh, wait. These are like... Uh, don't blow me up, Al. What's the first one? Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, it's a bear trap. Ah, that was rude. Come here. Ah, get fucked. <laughs> get wrecked. Let's come up with five hits. Rank B. Oh shit, we got more accessories. I forgot about the accessories. We should probably equip those. No way. I can't lose. Looks like you're beginning to understand that I'm way out of your league. Strongest in the military? I think the flame alchemist is stronger. This guy's just had it easy all his life, you know? No real challenges. Like hell, you say? Well, do you want more? <laughs> Come on, Ed. You know it's not cool picking on a weakling. Uh, weakling? You brats! You haven't won yet. I'll show you. I'll get you for this. Such classic bad guy lines. Yeah, well, you'd better remember, because my memory stinks. It sure does. I'll see you later. Bam. Snotty shorty. <laughs> Total mood. Who are you calling a snot no shorty? <laughs> oh. I'm sure it's fine. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely the game I played when I was younger. Yes, we will save. Oh, fuck. What's the, uh... Yeah, definitely Naruto, Optijack, has, like, charts of whole episodes and seasons to skip. But also, uh, not One Piece, but the one with, uh, I think the main character's name is Ichigo. If I remember correctly, he puts on, like, the mask. He has the big sword. The fuck's the anime's name? I, I loved it when I used to watch it. I never watched, like, all of it, but I watched a good bit of it. Um, A guy that he goes to school with is a Quincy. They pull out, like, a bow and shoot stuff. Yeah, Bleach! Pretty sure Bleach is another one that has, like, a chart of whole episodes and seasons and shit to skip. So. But really good. That one I actually like, but yeah. I get to say it earlier, but yes, fighting gods and averages is an average day compared to parallel worlds. I That's why I like the original, man. It's something a little different. But, like, I still find fighting gods more out there, though. It's just, like, a concept than, uh... Then, you know, a parallel world. Parallel worlds could very well exist. I don't believe in gods. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways. Whoa, would you just look at that? Ed, why must you always take things one step too far? So, uh, what should we do now? 
guess is as good as mine. Uh, I feel like the Major is going to be a little upset with us. Can we just run away? I'm sure the Major won't mind, right? Um, we got some accessories, right? <laughs> Lead ring. Accessory for Ed. Alchemy by one. Increased fatality by five. But, well, I don't feel like Al really needs it right now, so that's fine. Bonus points. How many do we have? Four. Uh, one to vitality, one to defense, one to alchemy. I don't like odd numbers. Fuck, they're all gonna be odd if I put this last point in. I guess it just won to everything. Why not, man? And Al. Oh, were they like shared? Are bonus points shared between the two? They go to a parallel world, but it's the God of War world, so they fight a bunch of God. Perfect, man. I love it. Ed, where are you going? I don't think we should head anywhere without telling the Major first. Ah, what a hassle. All right, let's go report to the Major. But he's gonna yell at me, Ed. Or Al. Whatever. Look. I'm tired of shit. Don't mind me. Which is great. So is the sister. They are. I mean, all of the characters in Fullmetal Alchemist are amazing. The sister's hilarious. Hello, Major. Hmm, I see. So another suspect was the mastermind behind the hijack. He's a colonel in the military police named Breslau. His left arm was an automail like Ed's. It sounded like he'd been rounding up military alchemists to take to Heisgard. Breslau did it away with his number two man, and managed to turn tail and run away from us. What a deplorable act for a military man. We shall expedite a warrant for this Breslau, but in the meantime, what to do with this devastation? You mean this Ed instigated? <laughs> Quite the chore this cleanup is going to be, even with the use of alchemy. Ursula cannot be forgiven. Derailing a train in order to make a selfish escape is beyond evil. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Nope, we're not going to correct him. Are you kidding? He doesn't have to know, and you'd better not say anything stupid either. I don't believe this. Uh, so Major, what should we do now? We don't have a choice. We have to go to Central, even if we need to walk. There's no time to waste. We're pretty close to Highsgard. Maybe we can catch a train from there to Central. Wait one minute there, lads. We cannot leave the site as it is. Much be done here. I must report to HQ. Round up the suspects. Help the passengers. Well, then I guess that means we have to say goodbye, Major. We'll be on our way. Toodles. What? No, absolutely not. As your escort, I must keep you in sight at all times. Come on, Major. We don't need an escort after having come this far. We're deep in the mountains. There's nothing dangerous here apart from ornery looking shrubs. Yeah, we'll be okay. Said no, and that's fine. I'll just keep quiet and help me with the recovery. Well, you gotta be kidding me. There's a lot of text. I think we don't have a choice. Oh boy, something to wonder if he's a bad influence on me. I'm out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank fuck. Wait, stop. Get back this instant. I should have known. I must notify HQ immediately and join these two post haste. Post haste. Who wouldn't watch that, man? That sounds like a great idea, honestly. All great characters. Number one is Edward for me. And it's not because the main character <laughs> followed by Mustang and Hayes. I feel like Mustang is a really popular choice, yeah. Mustang is pretty cool, especially in Brotherhood, man. Like the extra backstory of him in the war and all that shit. And then um, whenever he takes on, who was it? Was it was it Lust that he took on? Oh, and was it Envy? Yeah, okay, Envy. Thank you, I couldn't remember. <laughs> couldn't remember which one. I remember the scene though of him just like lighting them over and over and over again and shit, but. Oh, wait, was it Lust and Envy? Did he do both? I can't fucking remember, but I, I just remember, yeah, a burner to a crisp. It was pretty sick. The bridge? The bridge is out? How did this happen? I don't know. We won't be able to cross over from here anyway. Right, the whole bridge might collapse, so I use alchemy here. Ow, let's see if we can find another way across. Um, couldn't we just, like, we just, like, jump around it? No? Okay. Can we go down? Down does not look like a good idea. Is it this? Ah, there's a ladder, okay. I was like, wait, maybe we can transmute something here? Not the bridge, but just like, I don't know, a, a, a ladder? And we could just like lay across the bridge? I don't fucking know. Why are you asking me to do things, games? 
Is this my favorite because he's short? <laughs> he kills the hell out of her because killed his best friend in that scene was full passion and rage. I love it. Yeah. Really, really good, man. You really think it was okay for us to run away like that? Hey, the old man isn't chasing after us, is he? We're fine. Now, come on. Keep running. Sure, we're heading the right direction. Well, we've been on this single track until now, so, uh, yeah. Finch is bliss. You know, I never thought we'd end up going to Highsgard again. Me neither. The last time we went, we were still with our master, so it's been a really long time. Hey, Ed, since we're going to Highsgard, why don't we visit Professor Eiselstein? The professor? No way. Why not? I mean, I want to see Celine too. Tell me, aren't you forgetting some of the professor is friends with our master? Someone like the professor would be able to tell what we did the second he saw us. Oh. You ready to do this, Al? Mm -hmm. Y'all are making a mistake. Big old. What was the, um, uh, the dude with the gun, what was his name? Because he was really fucking cool too. The one that was always like super proud to show off his daughter and shit. I can't remember his name. Memory sucks, but I really, really liked him too. He was a really good character. Tucker? Was it Tucker? Like I said, I can't remember. But yeah, he was really fucking good. <laughs> the the motherfucker. Wait, what? <laughs> That's Hayes, okay. Who the hell's Tucker? Oh, no, not, not Tucker. No. <laughs> not him. Not him. That dude sucked ass, obviously. Yeah. Betraying his daughter like that, dude? It's kind of fucked. Like. At first, you can almost feel for him because he was doing all this, like, for his daughter or whatever. But then as soon as, like, he takes his daughter and transmutes her with the dog, you know, that like, he's just doing it for himself. Like, he doesn't give shit about his family. Like, it's fucked, man. No, no, I was talking about the one that always pulled out, like, his wallet with, like, the pictures of his, his kid in it and whatnot. Like, yeah. Yeah, Hayes. Hayes is really fucking cool, too. He's one of my tops, for sure. You know what I mean, Al? The professor would be able to tell. He could tell that we attempted human transmutation. Imagine if the professor were to tell our master about it. That would happen. Our master? She'd kill us. Got it, Al? Once we get into town, we're making a beeline straight for the station. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. But you know what bugs me? What's this train hijacker said, right? An alchemist self-government? If the professor really is the one calling the alchemist, what's he trying to do? You're asking the wrong guy. Fuck. I don't know if I can keep talking this much. It's so much text. <laughs> what was the professor studying? Um, catalysts, I think. Trying to make alchemy more efficient through the use of a catalyst. Or catalytics, whatever. I think this has anything to do with his research? I don't know. I'm not real familiar with catalytics myself. Remember how Celine would help the professor with his research. I was a real genius, just like you, Ed. So what? The girl didn't have a heart. Surprised you could hold a grudge over something so small. <laughs> small? It ain't small to me. <laughs> okay, okay. Mustang's best friend. He's one of your favorites. He cried some when he died. Oh, bruh, who didn't, man? He doesn't look familiar to me. I <clears throat> if he was in the show, I don't remember him. I think he's like a game-specific character, but I'm not sure. At any rate, the professor doesn't concern us, and neither does Heisgard. We just need to get ourselves to Central and fast. Right you are. You know who else was great? The fucking librarian girl, dude. <laughs> she was great. Ed and Al can join hands to deliver a powerful special attack. Fill up the alchemy gauge. While holding circle, press R1 with Al close by. Special attacks can only be used a limited number of times. Your stock of special attacks will increase as Al attacks a certain number of enemies. You have up to three in stock, but the stock will vanish if Al is KO'd. Okay. Good to know. Oh, hi, guys. Al. 
Fuck you, dude. I just want to do the special. Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Probably wasn't worth all the XP I lost trying to, like, get it to trigger, but still pretty cool. Oh, wait. What's this shit? What is... Okay, well, that's obviously a bomb. Here, throw that out. Oh, shit! <laughs> I thought, like, Al would throw it, not just set it off. Okay, that must be a mine. Yeah, fuck that stuff. Watch where there had to be coming down. That made it hit even harder. I can only imagine, my guy. That dude had an unlo undying love for his daughter. Where? Are we just going down here? I guess we're just going down here, right? Okay, there doesn't seem to be fall damage. Thank fuck. Yep, they're video game characters. Also, wait, what? <laughs> the family's weird as fuck. I'm confused, what? I feel like I'm missing something here. Man, the like, top left isn't like triggering full, fully. It's like walking when I press top left instead of running. Oh, the the people, they're just video game characters, not uh Yeah, okay. I see what you're saying. Hey, who's you? You got some nerve strolling in on our turf, you punks. We're bandits, this area is ours, and we ain't gonna let you pass. You're gonna eat a bag of hell, kiddies. Okay. Fighting frenzy. The frenzy gauge increases with every attack but now when the gauge becomes full, fighting frenzy is activated. While in a fighting frenzy, your attack increasing you gain more experience points. And also use frenzy special attacks, which are powered up special attacks. Fighting frenzy ends when any of the conditions below are met. Ed goes down. Ed or Al's HP reaches zero. Frenzy special attack is used. The save point is used as stages. Okay. So how do we use? I'm assuming we use it the same way we use like normal special attack. Oh, that's pretty sick. Okay. Get fucked. Why are you running away? Probably should have killed a couple more people before using the frenzy attack, but couldn't help it. I wanted to know what it did. Lightning element? What the fuck that's for? Okay, that's really annoying. Bro, why you gotta run? I understand you got a gun, but fuck. What is this? Ow, okay. This, I just want to see what it does. Does it shoot? Oh, it like sucks him in? <laughs> okay. Wait, did he make one of those before? The weird little like metal head that's on it looks familiar. Jeez, who are those guys? They're bandits and we were on their turf. That's all they managed to say before we knocked them stupid anyway. Bandits, this area's turned sour since the last time we were here. Get those losers out. Take a gander at this. What's this? An abandoned train? That's right. Something tells me I could transmute this into something. Possibly make out of that day or elect. We need to get going, Ed. No time for art. Could we turn it into like a working train? There you go. Wait, is that an is that no? The game really won't let us? Rude. <laughs> How do I shoot? Ah, oh, there we go. Interesting gun.
Oh, wait, what was that? Was that a chest? Thank you. Oh, we could transmute some stuff into loot. That's interesting. Can we only do that with, like... Wait, did we just power it up? Can we always do that? Or... Did that, like, use a, an item or something? That might have used the lightning element. Yeah, because I don't see that lightning element anymore, so I think it did. Okay, so since we lost this whenever we, like, left, if we now use the item... Fuck. The equip herb. Oh. Huh. Oh. I don't know then. Never mind. I thought the equip herb would let us, like, equip transmuted weapons, but... <laughs> Guess not. Also, that collision's kind of ass. Ow! Okay. It's definitely doing more damage, so that's cool. That was rude. That was even more rude. What was that shit? Dick. Okay, how do I dodge roll? There we go. Eh, it doesn't really feel any faster though, does it? What was that? People seem to like get stunned when we hit them with this too. For, for a short period of time. Not for particularly long, but for a minute. But I can transmute this big pole into a weapon for him. Ooh, or this. Even better. Here, I'll use this. Wait, no. No, not call. Get back on the thing. Now create two rock boulders or whatever the fuck that said. Fuck. Ah, so we can just have two down at a time. So it doesn't like automatically create two, but we can create a second. Gotcha. go here. Definitely pick that back up. Ixnay, Ed. We can't get to Highsguard that way. Hey, right, just great. Whoever said getting there is half the fun was full of it, Alphonse. Can we go around? No. Well, I mean, the only other way to go, then, would be to, like, blow this shit up over here, right? Ow, okay. We just transmute this shit out the way? Ed, <clears throat> Ed, that's the way to Highsguard, but it looks like stupid boulders are blocking our way. Huh. What should we do? There's no way around them. We could tunnel through. In our luck, the tunnel would cave in on us. We'll just have to improvise. Improvise? Don't sweat it. I've already got an idea. We can use that metal junk heap back there. Better not be referring to me, Ed. I'm gonna, like, turn it into a bulldozer or something? Here we are. This old junker should serve us, right? What do you plan on making out of this thing? Just you watch.
<laughs> oh, it's just a big ass cannon. I like it. Ah, howitzer is that? <laughs> wow. Well, I guess I, I guess subtlety's never been your strong suit. Let's go, Al. I'm not how you didn't destroy anything of real value this time, Ed. Such self-restraint. Rude. Why's our bro gotta be so mean? Bro, why's it making us run all the way back over there? That's the real question. You teleported us here to the train. You couldn't just teleport us back? That's rude. Okay, it's straight ahead to, to Heisgard, hmm? Ed, look. Help me! <laughs> look at the puppy. He just wants pettins. Heisgard swan is certainly exotic these days. That's no wild animal dummy. That's obviously a chimera. Someone transmuted a chimera. What? No way. That's just a freak genetic mutation, isn't it? Isn't it? Something's screwy here, brother. Why are Chimeras running around in a place like this? Okay. I mean, he did lose his body. Oh, <laughs> the the thing of value <laughs> comment? Nah, it's fine. Oh, now the place is crawling with Chimeras? Okay. That seems legit. Ow. Here, use that, Ed. Or Al. Fuck. I'm gonna keep doing that. Ooh, oh, I forgot we can transmute these into items after we're done with them. Might as well do this one too while we're over here. Is there a guard button? Tell him to tackle. L1 just his camera. L2's that. R1's dodge. Ooh, fire element. I don't think there's any way to actually, like, just block. We can make Al block for us, but... I mean, that's not a huge deal. It's just, it would be nice. <laughs> It seems to be so focused on action RPG elements, like... See, what I want is for the team that made Final Fantasy 16 to make a Full Metal Alchemist game. <laughs> Just with better side quests. Like, I want that combat, but with, like, the ability to transmute shit in the world and whatnot. Preferably a little more free flow with the transmutation stuff, but obviously it needs to have its limits. Got that, Ed? You have to learn to keep your cool. Honestly, Ed, you're always getting... Huh? She wants them flowers, man. Ed, are you alright? Hmm? They're pretty. That's pretty great. Thank God we were there to break the fall. <laughs> Your left hand. What? Where else would I it be? <laughs> of course, it's gonna be right on him. Well, I gotta go. <clears throat> um, excuse me. <laughs> huh? What are you doing lying on the ground like that? Exactly what I wanted to speak to you about, Missy. Well, whatever it is, make it snappy. I'm in a rush. Uh, don't you have something to say to me? Huh? No, not particularly. What is it with you anyway? Don't you know how to talk to a lady? Where are your manners? <laughs> Where are your manners? Isn't that attitude you cop after using someone's back as a fucking trampoline? Look <laughs> at this guy. Why is he getting all huffy? I'm telling you to apologize. You fat butt fell out of the sky and squashed me flat. Oh, so that's what happened. That's incredibly bad luck. I mean, you're such a small target. 
What did you say? I couldn't even see you from up above because you're so small. Uh, small? Not this armor guy, though. I could see him coming a mile away. Not you, though. You're too small. Shut up. Stop it. Stop calling me small. Stop calling me small. Did you apologize for all the trouble you caused me? Trouble? Trouble? You wanted to talk to me about trouble? Hey, I could have gracefully landed on my own two feet, but no, you just had to be in the way, so I ended up on my rump instead. How's that for trouble? I don't believe this. Now, now, do I have to separate the two of you? Just forget about it, Ed. Just be glad that no one was seriously injured. There you go, Mr. Armor knows what he's talking about. Can I go now? I told you I'm in a hurry. Ta-ta, Mr. Blonde Shorty Pants. Uh, come back here, you turd. Uh, take it easy. Can't believe it. That girl called me a shorty. That is it. We're going after her. Say what? I'm gonna make her apologize. Where is she? Which way did she go? Good grief. Also, voice acting. The game could really, uh, use some voice acting. For the non-cutscene parts. Who made the game? Square Enix, okay. I mean, it's a licensed title. It's probably more of a, you know, let's just get it out sort of thing, but the rights are, wait, was there something I missed? I mean, it's fine, <laughs> whatever. Damn it, where'd that brat go? Forget about her, Ed, we got bigger problems here. Oh, she went to the right, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh, flying dude, that's new. And Big Chimera Boy with fancy hair. Huh? What? They've got us surrounded. You gotta be kidding me. Since when is Highsguard such a hotbed for chimeras? Here they come, Ed. Why do they have ice creams on their head? Maybe that was part of the, the recipe they used, man, when they made them, you know? My god, okay. Ow, come here. Problem is, he only guards my front. I'm gonna die. Jesus Christ, dude. These things can bust right through our shit, too. Oh my god, dude. We're actually gonna fucking die here. Bro, so, Okay, hold on. I need to get the fuck out of here. One of these things have to be a weapon, right? Perfect. I'll use this. And then I need to use heals. I also had to add fire properties to weapons through alchemy. That is cool. Uh, I mean, we have a shit ton of them. Might as well use one. Is there anything else I can alchemicalize? A katana? Oh, fuck. Are they all dead now? Of course they are. Uh, this thing's about to break anyways. Let's try this out. A little fancy, dude. Okay. Oh. Well, that was nifty. Okay, so that thing had very few uses, but it was powerful as shit. Good to know. Honestly, I think I like our just little hand sword, arm sword here thing more than than the the big one we were using at least. A weird attack, a little spinny attack thing. No, you stay down here, Chocobo. What's up, my guy? Wait, it's a fucking mine. Oh, I can pick it up? Is it a shield? Oh, I can... <laughs> okay. I can, like, lay the mine down other places. That makes more sense. Detox herb. We get poisoned? No, oh, shit, we can. This makes me want to play Super Mario RPG, man. <laughs> Game should have been turn-based. All RPG should be turn-based. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm a big fan of turn-based, but I don't actually think all should be. Skyrim, but turn-based? I mean, I do gotta admit, that's a game I would try, you know? 
I'm not gonna sit here and say it would be good, but I would definitely try it. Uh, I mean, this looks like a platforming puzzle. Chocobo, thank you so much for the resub, my guy. 20 fucking months. Been real Chocobo close to that two years. Just subscribe for 20 months. <laughs> you have a preference for votes, my guy? High voltage sign. Crocodile. 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 Backslash. Crocodile. Backslash. Crocodile. Nice. Um. <laughs> thanks for the hydrate, too, my guy. To Jack, just redeemed hydrate. I have something's hidden. Is there like there we go? Unhide all. Uh, okay, it's locked already. Which alerts? I feel like they need to be turned up a little bit. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, you got it, my guy. Okay. Lock and okay. Stickers are already turned up all the way. Can't do anything with that. Okay, uh, I will do that now because I'll forget otherwise. Yes, collection. Oh, and hydrate. Here you go. Cheers. Final Fantasy Tactics. Fans. 44. Alright, back up the ladder. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna fall again. Okay. Nope. We're fine. Everything's fine. Bro. <laughs> Alright, you know what? <laughs> Even if this is some sort of, like, get a cool bonus by platforming all the way up here, I don't know if it's worth it. This game doesn't really feel like it was made for platforming. And actually, yeah, we can't jump that high, so... I guess this is it. Can I cancel, like... What the fuck was that? <laughs> Slapped a gong? What the fuck? <laughs> I was so confused, man. That shit came out of nowhere. Uh, I don't want that. I'm just gonna leave that behind. I do wish I could make the stickers a little louder. I feel like they're not quite loud enough, honestly. But they are turned up all the way here. I'm gonna have real quick. Um. Oh, fuck. Pause. I just wanna see. Why are you crying, Noodle? What's wrong? You should still be at the top, right? Go to the stream sticker settings, configure, uh, open the dashboard. Oh fuck, now I gotta log in. You didn't think it would count? Oh yeah, <clears throat> it still counts. This do. Oh, <laughs> it replays it. Okay, well. That's good, I guess. That means I can uh, fuck with it. Um, all stickers are fine. Is there a way to like turn up the volume? Yeah, here we go. Volume. Uh, uh, I don't know. Turn up volume. Or like a save button or does it just auto save? Okay. Now if I go back to dashboard, will it like I got a fever and the only prescription is more cowbell. 
feel like it didn't really make it any louder. Although, could just be me. Yeah, I don't know. I got a fever. Hopefully it's loud enough. Oh shit. Um why is my camera over top the sticker? I need to fix that. Stickers should be like second from top. The only thing above stickers should be fucking alerts. Okay, it does seem to stay on screen longer at least, so that setting seemed to take I'm not sure if the uh, volume setting took or not, though. Here, tell you what. Put volume all the way fucking up. And then... I got a fever. The only prescription is yeah, I think that... Yeah, that's definitely better. That's definitely better. Okay, cool. I'm done fucking with it. <laughs> The worst part of it, though, is since I played PS2 games through OBS, is I just have a giant gong <laughs> here in the middle of my fucking screen while I'm trying to play the game. Thankfully, the cowbell's up in the corner, but, like, <laughs> so that could really, depending on, like, where, because the, where the sticker goes is random, but depending on the game and where the sticker decides to go, that could really fuck us over. <laughs> Which might be what you guys are wanting to do anyways, so... Can we turn this into anything fun? Just a bomb. Can I, like, pick up the bomb? We can, like, move the bomb around. And I think we can hit it to start it, right? But, like... The bombs are kind of dumb. I don't even know if that hit him or if that was just... Ow, going at him. a place we don't want to don't want to fall noodle with the 40 bits thank you so much love that's a lot of bits <laughs> why didn't you just cheer 50 at one time <laughs> yo if you were to keep talking nobody explodes i have i want to try it one of these days i've never actually tried the game before but it sounds like a uh a terrible fun time <laughs> Terrible because I'm pretty sure. Oh fuck me! Because I'm pretty sure I would suck at it, honestly. But it would be hilarious at the same time. Ah, oh, no shit! I have to see. I can't remember if I own it or not. If I don't, I'll definitely consider picking it up because I would love to try it. I know they have a uh, VR game mode too, which I think would be really fun. I don't think like everybody has to be in VR or anything like that, but. I just think it'd be a fun way to play the game. I'm assuming on sale on Steam. Uh, did I just flameify this? I did. I did not mean to do that. There you go, Al. Have a weapon. Black herb? Fuck does react the re Ah oh, fuck me What the fuck does relax or negates Ah oh, paralysis You would think a relaxer would like paralyze you more if anything Oh this is like the god weapon You know with another 21 bits holy fuck love you're just trying to get back to number one aren't you I still though like you just did the the cowbell though so you should have been at the top right I'm confused. Whatever. <laughs> Thank you either way. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. Where's that? Where's the god god sword at? There it is. I just have to remember to pick this thing back up. I only had you at 130? Weird. I don't know if it just didn't update for some reason or... I don't know.
Come here, Chimera. Get fucked. Get fucked. Oh. Okay, there we go. Any more dudes? I mean, I kind of feel bad for using this on the bird, but... Oh, shit. Well... Fuck! I can't hit! <laughs> oh, Chocobo. <laughs> Thank you for the bit, my guy. Okay. We need... I think we have to do platforming. I don't think we have a way around it here. Climb back up. Try not to fall this time. Really don't feel like this game was made for platforming, though. Also, there's the matter of the dead zone being too... Like, not the dead zone, but the, the outer ring not being set high enough. Uh, no. Oh, no. Wait, that platform disappeared, so we can't go this way now. Is there another ladder somewhere that I missed? Can we make that jump? <laughs> I mean, maybe if we actually jump. Missing the jump ain't gonna do shit for us. Oh fuck, that was close. Fuck, dude! Ugh, okay. I like this game a lot better when it was just fighting things and transmuting things, not this bullshit. Can we transmute that? What the hell? A pogo stick? Wait, what? How do we... Oh, do we like jump higher? Like the farther we fall? No. What? What's the point of the pogo stick? It doesn't seem to do anything. X doesn't do shit. Circle doesn't do anything. Oh, square. Okay. And you have to hit it like as you're hitting the ground. Oh god, this is... Fuck me, dude. That was too early. And it only seems to go so high. Yeah, and it only goes so high, so we can't just, like, use it to cheese ourselves and not do the jumping section. This is garbage. Can I get back up here with it? What if I just mash square? Does that work? Oh, we're just mashing square works, at least sometimes. Huh... Come on, dude, no. You could change one thing about your favorite game. What would it be? Hmm. He says, thanks, bro, instead of I love you. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit, no, fuck no. Definitely I love you. That's <laughs> Anything else is trash. I don't care how it was originally intended in Japanese. Fuck that. <laughs> um, first, we need to define what my favorite game is. <laughs> um, Final Fantasy VII, art, honestly. That's the only thing I would change about that game, personally. Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, <laughs> I would have made Kingdom Hearts 3 Kingdom Hearts 2. Instead, like, I don't know. <laughs> what would I actually, <laughs> excuse me, what I actually change about Kingdom Hearts 2? 
Um. Yeah, fuck, man. I don't know. What other favorite games do I have? Oh, wait. Can we. Or no, we would need to get to there first to get to there. Fuck! Um. And. Ah, okay, that's actually, that's a relatively easy one, I think. I would have added the ability somehow, some way, to transform into the fucking Heartless Sora thing in Kingdom Hearts 2. Like, made that an option, man. Gion never exists? That's rude. <laughs> I like Gion. Did you, did you not like Gion? Fuck, we can't jump up here either. Can we jump up to here? Bro, I don't know what to do here. I'm not gonna lie. Really? Huh. Oh, I like her. I'm not gonna lie. As a character, at least. Was she necessary? Probably not. But, I like her. Okay. Thank you. I legit don't know what to do here. Are we just not supposed to be here at all? Was this like purely an optional area? Maybe that's the problem and we're just wasting time. I'm just gonna leave. Thanks, Brent said I love you. That's such trash. Imagine, though, she did. Absolute garbo. Good. I'm glad all you guys respawned. I mean, I mean, if nothing else, I guess it's experience for us, but like... Um, so do we need to go over here? Have I gone over here? I'm gonna ignore these guys for a second. Hold on, where's my mini map? Here it is. Kind of like, this would be the perfect time to use a special, but since I need to like charge my fucking alchemy gauge all the way to use the special, it's kind of like Garbo, man. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck me! I head to bed, you're tired and have school to finish before finals. That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, uh, okay. Save, please. Oh, but Chocobo's finals are over. Congrats, Chocobo. Rue, I hope yours go well. And good night, my guy. Good night, Noodle Night Nate. Night stream. Good night. See ya Sunday, maybe. You got this homework and shit, dude. Thank you. No worries. And let's all be real for a moment. Nate's probably asleep or balls deep in like Yu-Gi-Oh right now. And has no idea what's going on. That's where we came in at, up there. So it's not that way that we need to go. That was a bad jump. Is there like a way to grab a ledge or something whenever you get close to it? Thank you. Can I jump up to here? Ow, can you like throw me in the air? Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2? Oh, is that what your ball's deep in? <laughs> Fair enough. Jokobo's looking to fight right now. I can see it in his eyes.
I just realized it says on the mini map like where we come in or where we came in at. That's pretty handy. I appreciate that game. I'm gonna forget that again probably, but I think a lot of these guys are completely invincible during their uh, animation there when they get up. I mean, I suppose it's so you can't just like stun off them permanently, but bruh, they're just minor mobs. Let me crush them. As far as I can tell, where we just were is the only way fucking out of here. Maybe we just have to reload the area to get that, that platform that we knocked down back up. I'm past north. Cause, I mean, all the enemies are probably going to respawn too, annoyingly enough, but it is what it is. It did respawn. So did the uh, the pogo stick thing. Do we need the pogo stick for this? I really fucking hope not. Okay. So far, so good. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> we just made a decoy doll? That's sick. How much longer do I think I'll be? Um, probably roughly a half hour. I am pretty tired tonight, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna try to go till three. I mean, I want to get that thing over there. That chest, but I'm worried about falling. I'm also worried, I don't know if I can make this jump here, but oh, thank fuck. Uh, how do I throw? Can I only drop? I guess I can only drop it. Well, oh well, whatever. Nice to use alchemy to fix the platform of that only game. <laughs> Bruh, why would you have that fucking idea? Alchemy to fix platforms? What kind of fuck? No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> fuck that shit. Platforming is the way to go. It's not like it's a whole game about <laughs> alchemy. <laughs> At my cyber deck, you know, one that lets me play the game. Oh god. I think you touched on the soft spot. Ah, there she is. What's she doing in a dangerous place like this? We'd better help her before one of this come starts snacking on her. I think helping her is my sole intention now. Hey, wait up, you brat. Hey, uh, it's no use. I guess she can't hear us. All right, that's it. We've got to chase her down. Come on out. Whatever you say, sigh. <sighs> I get it from Nate's point of view. You are a little toxic, Chocobo. Let's just be real for a moment. But at the end of the day, the point is to win the game as well. So, like, yeah. Kind of like, I'm kind of in the middle, I guess. I just hate whenever people like get their kill, but then just keep going. Just to show off, like, yeah, I already had you dead, um, but I had another 4,000 damage I could do to you, so you're gonna sit here and watch while I fuck with you, kind of thing. That's the toxic part, <laughs> to me, at least. <laughs> but whatever it takes for you to enjoy the game though, man, who am I to tell you how to live your life? Uh, yeah, sure. Take that one bonus point. I'm gonna make all my shit even. Um. Alchemy is up to 66. Tribute. And, uh, I don't know. 21. Why not? I have no idea how I should actually be distributing these points, but that's how I'm going to do it. I prefer antagonistic, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
seems like everything is turn one decks and everyone does the overkill on Master Duel, it seems, but you've got lucky and had a few good pools lately. Yeah, it sucks when it's like literally everybody's doing that because then if that's not the way you like to play, you just kind of have to. Uh, I mean, it's the meta at that point, right? So you just kind of got to do it. But it's so like I said, I get it from both sides, you know? You want to win, so you kind of have to. But being a... Uh, <laughs> Being antagonistic is a bit much sometimes. Into the depths, I suppose. You better stay alive, girl. Don't you dare die before uh, something. I don't mind a lot of text in games, but I hate reading it all, <laughs> like aloud. Not literally reading it. That would kind of miss the point of the game if you never read any of it. I never understood about MMOs. I've been guilty of it myself, but like, you know, there's the text in MMOs whenever you're sent on missions and shit that just literally everyone skips, nobody reads, and it's like, <laughs> then you're just collecting 20 bear pelts and you have no idea why. In the grand scheme of things, sure, it doesn't really matter why you're collecting the 20 bear pelts, but like, it's just, I don't know, always been a, a, been a weird thing for me. What is this? Oh, a dagger. That's kind of fancy. Oh, shit, dude. It does, like, damn near as much damage as our big sword. But it attacks a lot quicker. Here, add a, uh... I can't add an element to it? That's lame. Oh, okay, it was just doing that much damage because bird's small. That makes sense. Reloader wood? What the fuck? I was had to reload a previously used crossbow by retransmuting it. Oh. We couldn't just find some, like, wood, a stick laying somewhere and just do it that way? We have to carry the wood on our person? I've got some wood you can use to reload a crossbow. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be as effective. Give it a try. You can understand, I took my desk like that from competitive on there, but damn, I thought I was gonna use a more casual deck for a duel, and he was like, no. Nah. <laughs> Crush this poor boy's hopes and dreams. Yuki a deck of and you see my Pokemon one. I wouldn't mind playing you in Pokemon one of these days. I'm still just running the base decks though. I've done no editing on any of them. I just haven't had the uh the time. I mean, like that's not quite fair. I could do it like on my lunch break or something like that, but instead I just watch a show or whatever. Okay, is there like a better way to deal damage to you? Okay, that's how we deal damage to you. When you're not invincible. Bro, you have way too much health. Fuck you. There we go. What'd you drop? Equip or not worth it. I don't even know what that shit does. Here, Ed, you equip the god sword. Or ow. Fuck, dude. I'm gonna keep making that mistake because I'm an idiot. Meta of the game now. I just hate the Karen meta. It sounds like it's been the meta of that game since it's come out, though, no? Like, I've never played it, so feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but. It seems like you've been complaining about it since, you know. Since you started playing it. But that's the more or less the meta of the game. Oh good, back to dudes, not these fucking cephalopods. The meta shifted in 2012, bitch. Oh, you mean just like IRL.
Yeah, that's one like thing I love hate about Yu-Gi-Oh. I have no idea what current meta is or anything like that. I haven't played in a long time. But um the fact that like their cards, you know, the oldest set is just as valid to use as the newest set. Like it's not like Pokemon and Magic where just the last four-ish sets of cards are valid for current play. I love that because that means you don't necessarily have to always buy the newest cards to stay up with everything. But <laughs> I also understand how things can get out of control <laughs> very quickly because of that. I'm surprised that, like, the company that produces the card game doesn't try and do something about that. Because honestly, that just sounds like... It doesn't sound as interesting to watch or to play if things almost always end, like, at a high level in just one turn, maybe two turns. You know? Aw, oh, fuck. I wasn't trying to walk backwards. I was just fighting things. You know, obviously, like, I don't want to... Uh, card game to last until deck out but <laughs> but like 20 30 turns i feel like is a reasonable high end sort of turn count 15 ish maybe being a goal sounds pretty good why would they put these enemies so close to the entrance that you can just like fucking fall or not fall out but fucking end up in the going back a zone just by fighting shit that you get attacked literally as soon as you come in. Square definitely rushed this game, man. They just like, we got this license, it's gonna sell, let's get this fucking out. Are we lost by any chance? Destruction and messing around with it yourself, which is a modified structure, it does send me all right. 500 gems, you have to send a, spinning, spend a single dime on it. I want to see a Yu Gi Oh card game like the Pokemon trading card game, where it's literally impossible to spend real money on cards outside of just fucking getting my ass eaten. Bro, the fucking stun locks, though. Um, yeah, no, where it's literally impossible to spend money on it outside of just buying real life cards. <sighs> he says, like, 14 ultra rares. You can buy a pack for 100 gems. I have a 3% chance to get an ultra rare, and you need the three ultra rares. You need three ultra rares, you don't need to make one unique. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you mean like that's how many gems it trades for sort of deal? I see what you're saying. So it costs three ultra rares worth of gems to get one ultra rare that you want, basically. Fuck, dude. Every time this thing flips on its back, I get annoyed as shit. There we go. Ow! Okay. Ow! Okay. Here we go. Thank you. Have we gone here yet? I'm so fucking lost, man. I have no idea where we are. Okay, now this looks new. This dude literally just spawn in. Like, on top of us? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'm because of all the uh, arts that you grabbed. That's how you've spent so much there, Nate. Alchemy herb. What's an alchemy herb? Allows user to transmute items. Okay, well, we can't seem to use it, so I don't know what that does. 
you want to go down? I guess so. I don't even know what the fuck that said this time. Weird ass items in this game. Problem is, I forget like where we came in from before. I can't remember like what door we should go through. Did we come through this one? Maybe? Yeah, no, I, I think we've come through here before. We just have gotten a crap load of free gems and bought whatever special deal was going on at the same time. Like right now you can get a slifer with 25 packs and some accessories for 2500. I don't know what half those words mean. I understand what gems are and what a pack is. That's about it. After that I'm lost. Son of a bitch, I was looking the wrong way. Who are you fighting? Isn't everybody dead? Oh shit, I thought the dude was dead. Did you respawn? Did you fucking respawn, you bastard? Fuck. They really need to add like the thing that Kingdom Hearts does where you gotta get two screens away before things respawn. It makes searching these little areas with a million different doors here much more manageable. Fourth. Have we been here yet? We can't go up from here, but this does look like roughly where we need to go. So there's a door over there. If the two maps line up, then that means we just need to go northwest a little bit. Is there a door to the northwest of us when we spawn in here? No. Maybe we need to go through... This one. And then from here, go northwest. Ooh, maybe just north. This looks new. Could be a good sign. Uh, hello, weird bird thingies. Yeah, these bombs suck ass. Oh shit, okay, they're... <laughs> It's lit. Did more of them just fall? Son of a bitch. Which says a little easier to trigger, but fuck is it satisfying then? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Bruh. I might end up playing this game more on my off time, don't get me wrong, but like, it's not actually all that good, is it? I wonder how well it reviewed. I'm gonna look that up, just cause I'm curious. Um, infinite backlog. Oh, metal, alchemist. Or the, PS2, Broken Angel. Critics reviewed it at 70 out of 100. User score, granted only one person has rated it so far, is only 50. <laughs> Not great. I see why. It definitely has some, uh, let's call it pacing issue. Uh, that seems like a nice way of putting it. AKA, <laughs> it's fucking slow. 
The fight, like, the actual combat just doesn't feel amazing. There's not enough interesting use of transmutation. Like, I want to transmute shit to puzzle solve, man. I don't want to just transmute things into random shitty weapons. They could have added so much more voice acting. Instead of everything just being fucking whatever. The audio, let's be real, not amazing. Just the thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And like every time we pick something up, that was a bit much. Every time we pushing this button, just the same generic ow yell. See? That shit's... That gets a bit much, man. I think it's fair to say it's probably a bit phoned in. Oh, wait. Did I just put fucking lightning in that? <laughs> well, now there's three of them. People gonna, like, spawn in here that I have to fight? I feel like we just wasted shit. Uh, no, fuck the bomb. Eh, fuck all that, too. Sure, let's save. Why not? I just want to see if a boss is going to spawn in here or something, because it does look like an area that a boss could spawn. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> Lay some mines around, just in case. Why the fuck can't you throw the mines, man? Gotta like carry them around and just drop them and shit? I don't wanna do that. I wanna throw them. Throw them at the, the enemy and the bombs. My god, the bombs. Like, look at this shit. What am I supposed to do with this? I really can't pick it up? Can I have Al pick it up? No, no I can't. All I can do is smack it and hope that the boss stays by it long enough or just the enemy, whatever, stays by it long enough that it that it blows up next to them. I mean, I guess we could like take a chance trying to kick it at them or some shit, but. And no, there was nothing, no boss or anything down there. The mines were pointless, fair enough. Oh, here's the boss. Whoa, what the heck is that? <laughs> we have to run, Ed. This place is too narrow for us to put up a fight. Wait, if I can just use my alchemy, there's no time for that. We've got to retreat before we get clipped and snipped by those claws. Damn it, looks like we don't have a choice. I only did 117 damage, your attack does 74. That makes sense. That's perfectly fine. No, to be fair though, I did have, bro, what? I can't run any faster, right? Um, fuck me, dude. Okay, I guess we just have to keep tanking the hits until we get out of here. Anyways, I was using, like, a sword with elemental shit added to it, so presumably it was a little bit stronger then. Fuck me, dude. Can we fight this thing? Is that an option? It hardly does any fucking damage. No, it doesn't take any damage at all. Yeah, no. Can I slow it down? No, just gotta keep running. Okay. Fuck, I was in the middle of a jump. That was too... Oh, nope, it worked. I thought that was way too early. <laughs> uh, I mean, they basically made it impossible to die here, so it's not like it really matters. Just hold down to win. What the... Ah, oh, we're in trouble. There's no place to run. Ed, what are we gonna do? 
I'm open to suggestions. Yeah, well, here it comes. Look, Mr. Crab, I don't even like seafood. Oh my god. You get fucked. In the hole with you. They should have let us fight it, man. That thing could have, like, appeared on the, the top of that elevator section whenever we went to hit the button. And then, like, slid down and, uh... We just fucking fight it, like, down there. Because we could have, like, the bombs and shit placed to do some extra damage and whatnot. Like, bro, it would have been cool. I made a room in Yu-Gi-Oh! at Chocobo Enthusiast. Uh, he only has a few minutes left. I don't know if he'll have time or not, but he can tell you that, I guess. So SpongeBob is wild. Yeah. Totally wild. Yeah, but forget me. Look at the Chimera. It's back. Looks hard, but its belly seems pretty vulnerable. Oof. How you know he's hard? So flip it over on its back and beat the fuck out of it. It's a Mario boss. Got it. Or Legend of Zelda boss. Pretty much any stereotypical boss. Kappa Cow, what's up, man? Um, I don't know what. Shit, what? I can't see what I'm transmuting here. But yeah, I actually want. I want the mines. I think. Ow. Will well, the mine flip this thing on his back? Also, whoa! That was nauseating. Why the fuck were we spinning around like that? That was terrible. I'm guessing, like, the camera was flipped because of how close we were. And the, the crab was just spinning around? I don't know. Here, touch that. Will that make you flip over? That did not make you flip over. This is gonna blow me the fuck up though, ain't it? Come on, he's on that mine. Blow up. It did one damage. Fucking nice, dude. How do we... I don't care. I'm done anyways. <laughs> I'd pretty much given up on the game. I wanted to try the boss fight, but... I'm a little disappointed with the game. I'm not going to lie. I think just because I had high hopes for it because of my love for Full Metal Alchemist. But it's not as good as I remember from when I was a kid. Yeah, it goes. Oh. I also prefer Knights, to be honest with you. More money, uh, less dealing with customers more relaxed work environment not like relaxed in it as in like you know slow you're not doing anything because you're still expected to do a lot of work but relaxed as in like you know dress code music listening to that sort of stuff so and uh also it just lines up with my personal sleep schedule a lot more but afternoons is kind of the the happy medium i landed in though because uh you know life <laughs> sometimes it's kind of necessary to be awake during the day sad but true that's a big ass bomb wait does the bomb just like blow up instantly if it touches someone or something i don't know guess how many pick blocks i've done uh two <laughs> really zero i'm actually kind of surprised that there was never just like hey we're super behind uh, we understand it's closed, but we need to get these picks ready for the morning or something. Because, uh, yeah, there's no way the morning crew's gonna be able to handle it. Because I know, like, management at our store has stayed until, you know, 10, 11 o'clock before helping with picks. I think you had to work nights in your current profession. I was like, nah, but if it was that field, I'd still prefer nights. If you were in that field, still you'd prefer nights. I wouldn't mind working nights as a uh, maintenance man. Uh, honestly, I mean, I did for a while, and I preferred it. The building was completely empty. Um, I didn't have to show up at, like, any particular time. It was just, you can show up any time after we close, as long as you're done before we open. So, like, I got to pick the time that I went and whatnot. So, like, yeah, if I did maintenance, I would prefer... <laughs> working overnights but that's just me i guess i don't know anyways guys um yeah i'm i'm done for tonight i can't 
I can't play any more of this game right now. Maybe I'll play more on my own time. I don't know. We'll see. It's not going on the list to complete. Sorry if anybody wanted to see it. But, uh, yeah. Judging by how much health Ed has here, this isn't too much farther in the game, but it's still, it looks so samey to what we were already doing. Just like, that's the first new transmutation we've seen. And yeah, it's kind of neat that you get like a mobile cannon, but it's not, I don't know, it's not that much better than just the stationary cannons. It's just bleh. Blah, blah, blah. I already technically have the late ship, but it was over nice. You'd be rushing before it got in. Or two to ten. Yeah, I mean, I guess if it takes you eight hours, then that's a thing. It's like the where I did maintenance at it, a normal night only took roughly an hour. Um, hour and a half, maybe. And then, like, if there was extra stuff that needed done, it would take, like, max, you know, three hours. Except for, like, a couple times a year. Um, bigger jobs would need done, and then it would take longer than that. But anyways. So, yeah, it was, like, any time after five o'clock. And you just had to be done before, like, I don't remember the exact time. It was years ago, but, like, five in the morning, six in the morning, something like that. You just had a big chunk of time that you could go and do things. At least make it look like it takes you eight hours. Fair enough, I guess. Fair enough, my guy. You work midnight to 8 a.m., Cap Cow? I, I'm a afternoon guy myself. Usually uh, 1 to 10-ish in the afternoon. I used to work overnights. I've worked a few different shifts, though. I've worked, like, 2 to 11s. I've worked uh, 11 to 12? No, 11 to 10? 12. 12 to 11. Okay. Yeah, I've worked 12 to 11. Um, what other shifts? 4 to... Or no. What was it? I remember there was one shift I worked until, like... Uh, what was it like? Was it seven to four? I don't fucking remember. Well, to eleven's where it's at for yeah. That was probably my favorite shift, but only because I was only one. But only because uh, four to one. That was it. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> my memory's terrible. Um, and then I and then I worked a ten to seven shift as well. Oh, and I worked. I have worked a morning shift in my in my my life. I uh. Uh, anywhere from, usually it was like six to four or something like that. Seven to four. Usually it was seven in the morning till four in the afternoon, but sometimes I'd have to come in a couple hours early because that's when I was a management position. So, but anyways, the only reason I really liked the 12 to 11s is because it was only four days a week instead of, instead of five days a week to get the full 40 hour weekend. So I would gladly work like three 15 hour shifts <laughs> instead of <laughs> instead of fucking four or five days a week. I guess 15 hours. That'd be too much. huh? That'd be 45 hours. The 12, 13. Yeah, it'd be just over 13. I'd gladly work three just over 13 hour shifts if I had that option. Like just fuck those three days. That leaves me four more days to do whatever the fuck I need to do, man. I can spend one entire day just sleeping, catching up on relaxing after those 13-hour shifts, and then still have three fucking days to do whatever the fuck I, need, I want to do or need to do. Like, that sounds like heaven on earth. Yeah, I've done both ends. That's what I was saying. I prefer afternoons or overnights, though. Overnights was probably my personal favorite, but uh, with Noodle and everything, it's definitely better for me to work afternoons. And uh, I don't see myself changing that anytime soon. It would take a lot of convince. It would basically take somebody telling me, hey, you can work three days a week, but still get full-time hours for me to even consider going back to morning shifts. That or like a giant ass pay bump. It would have to be pretty significant. I'm not a very money-driven person, and I have the money that I need. So, <laughs> I would gladly uh, stay where I'm at if it meant losing a little bit of money. But if I could have four days off a week instead of two, though, that's another story. Bram to 1 p.m. was dog shit. I like that better because of my personal sleep schedule. I 
on my days that I don't work, I tend to sleep until anywhere between 1 to 3 in the afternoon. Um, so 4... Oh, wait. I haven't done 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. I did 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. Just to be... Just to be clear. Um... Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. That one worked out really well for me because of my personal sleep schedule. I never... 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. is one of the only shifts at, at, at a big box retailer that I haven't worked. <laughs> I've technically worked that one before, but not because of that shift. It was because, hey, we got this big thing that needs done tomorrow uh, when I was a manager at a deli, and yeah. Bro, which 4 to 1 are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, I guess you probably never worked at Big Box Retailer, OptiJack, whenever they did the, the 4 to 1, like 4 p.m. to 1 a.m., huh? The only thing that sucked about, like, 4 p.m. to 1 a.m., because of my sleep schedule, like I said, I slept until, like, anywhere between 1 and 3 in the afternoon. And at 4 p.m., I'd be heading to work, so, like, by the time I fucking left at 1 a.m., obviously nothing's open. <laughs> and, like... I'd go to bed at like five, six in the morning. So basically there was never any time to shop is what I was saying. And like, yeah. Although it's not that much different than now, I guess, for me. You know, getting off at 10 o'clock at night. Ah, oh, you came on a year after that ended. Okay. Everybody's hating on 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. Damn. Gotta go. Take it easy, my guy. Enjoy the rest of your night at work. I'm uh, hopping off too, to be honest with you guys. I'm going to take a drink. And uh, go get my shower and probably lay down. Ah, warm up the rest of my curry because I need my leftover curry and I'm a tiny bit hungry. So, yeah. It's like two hours a night when I work 4 a.m. Just develop a coke habit. Problem solved. That's, that's all you need to do, my guy. Easy peasy, man. Goddamn. I'm getting off, dudes. Have a wonderful night. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. I'll be off tomorrow, of course. And then we'll be back Sunday night for... Uh, Morrowind. I almost said PS2, but no, it's Morrowind on Sunday night. So, see you guys then, I hope, and uh, have a good night, everyone. Oh, and be kind to each other. Bye, y'all! Hate to see it, my guys. Hate to see it. Well, so much for peaceful negotiations. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a...